wow guess what we have today bananas guys these are sweet bananas okay they're not that type which is for eating meanwhile it's a different type uh i don't know its name <laughs> I'm, I'm not so good at names guys you may, I, I have to forgive me for that but these are bananas which for us we use for making pancakes five days not a week yeah it's five days back and somehow they were not ripened but they were mature so now they are ripe and guess what i am going to make pancakes guys yeah, so today we're going to have tea with pancakes and yeah i decided to show you how we do it i mean our local way because for us we use uh, pancakes i don't know whatever you guys i mean for us we use bananas for making pancakes whatever you use for making just check our process then you compare with yours guys so please enjoy um here i have um, a mortar and a, a pounder yeah and a pesto i mean so i'm going to peel these bananas all of them and put them in the mortar here because i'm going to pound yeah i need to make them smooth well, let's do this oh you know my rooster always <laughs> it always wants to show you that it's also around guys so it's just telling you good morning <laughs> So guys, after pounding it, you turn it into your, your pan, either your pan or something white, so that now you can use your hands and make sure it is smooth. Eh? So I'm going to start now using my hands. You know, there are some thumbs that remain and like this one, so you make sure you squeeze everything and it's thoroughly smooth. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. So like I told you earlier on guys, hygiene is very paramount here. Very, very paramount. mixing and smoothening this the bananas you add in your flour this is cassava flour you need to add in and this is biocarbonate we are also going to add in Then you keep on mixing it. So guys, as you can see, it's evenly mixed. Now what we are going to do is we are going to roll. Mm. 
this is what I'm going to use for rolling. you don't have to make it very um okay you have to make it a bit thick yeah not very thick as well yeah and then i'm going to use this to give me the kind of shape i want you can use any shape uh if you have anything else you can use to give you a better shape well and good for me i'm going to make circular ones and so this is what i'm going to do to get the circular shape our pan on fire for it to start heating up that is what we're going to use for frying let's leave it there to heat a bit before we add in the oil our pan is actually hot already so let's add in the cooking oil all right let's give it time to heat as well before we can start the actual frying oh my god i can't even wait to eat this already the way it's crunchy it is sweet you know the banana makes it really really sweet and yet we've not even added any sugar so it's very very it's very accommodative even for people with diabetes you understand it's literally very healthy i mean you want to test it <laughs> come <laughs> it's actually ready as you can see now let's add in the, the pancakes i can already call them that because we are almost <laughs> so you be careful with the oil you don't have to splash Meanwhile, guys, as I keep rolling, how about you let me know? Did you learn anything in this video? Hmm? Please, if you learned, let me know in the comment section. I hope you've learned something and you really love it. Please go ahead and try. And of course, if it's your first time, please make that point to subscribe. I'm pretty sure you enjoyed this video, please. And you know, I have a lot more to show you because your village girl oh, has a lot in store for you. Please go ahead and subscribe, continue sharing, continue sharing me the love. I love the love. And now, bye bye. Let me continue with my pancakes. So, why don't have a look at what the inside looks like let's come closer oh my see the steam i want to eat it <laughs> i 
Everyone. <laughs>